where despite last year, South Australia's top cop, the police commissioner, Grant Stevens, being given a $101,000 pay rise, it turns out the state doesn't have the money to equip everyday policemen with the essentials. They have started buying their own dash cams in their police cars in order to feel safer, to record what's going on around them as they're doing the rounds. A quote from an anonymous police officer, always got to be anonymous, can't be caught out blowing the whistle on your own employer when it's the state. He says a lot of officers are buying their own dash cams. They're spending their own money on equipment. It makes them feel safer. We notice a massive improvement in people's attitudes when they know they're being recorded. Opposition police spokesman Jack Batty spoke to this issue today. He said Labor's police minister, Dan Cregan, seemingly expects top cops to pop into JB Hi-Fi in their spare time and buy their own dash cams for our police vehicles. Dash cams are a simple safety measure for police. We must do everything to protect those that protect us. Interestingly, also, the South Australian police minister said, well, there's issues around uh, using this kind of technology in police vehicles due to data storage and security issues and the legalities around that. Well, guess who's in charge of the law, buddy? You. So if there's issues around that, and that's why you're not adequately arming the police to do their jobs in a good way, Look no further than in the mirror. This is one of those stories we're constantly talking about. Why on earth would you sign up to the police yeah. force? As far as I know, every single state is crying out for more police officers. The pay is not good. You don't get treated well. You're working way more hours than you're usually rostered on, if their reports can be believed, and I certainly believe them. And now we learn simple things like this a piece of equipment that a lot of everyday citizens have to feel safer in their own cars. Our own police officers don't. But hang on. This argument about we don't know about the legalities and the issues with privacy, with collecting the footage... The, the police officers body already cams. have body, body cams, cams exactly. right? Which they can activate at any time. So if it's OK for the police to collect body cam footage, why would it not be OK for them to collect dash cam footage? I think I'm, the I... difference is body cam is obviously utilised in... Even, even if they do breathalysers, I was breathalysed recently, they've got their body cams on because it's a one-on-one -on -one interaction. So if you're going to swear at them or assault them in any way, it's yeah. captured on a body cam. A dash cam is different because it's constantly recording despite nobody doing anything. But, but People you... are innocently getting around in their everyday lives in their cars being recorded. But New South Wales cams... taxis have yeah, yeah, yeah. cameras and, recording and, and, and a lot of dash cams have got a button on the side, a bit like the body cam footage, where you can press it and it will automatically take, like, the last 20 seconds of footage and then record. Like, it's, mm. it doesn't keep every bit of footage it ever takes, otherwise it would just run out of room to do it. I, I don't know how that's an argument at all. I mean, you, you go to JB well, Hi-Fi... Well, naturally, he needs to defend well, the indefensible. But, but you, you go to JB Hi-Fi, as these coppers seem to be, you get a dash cam for about 100 bucks, right? And, and you said that the police commissioner, Grant Stevens, was given a, a hundred grand uh, in, a, in a pay rise. Let, let's good. say they've got a thousand odd police cars in South Australia. I don't know what the exact number is. I know a few years ago they rolled out like a tablet iPad system in police cars and they fitted that to about 680 police cars. And I'm assuming that's not the entire fleet. So let's say they've got a thousand police cars. $100 a pop, that's a hundred grand, which is the same as the pay rise, mm -hmm. and they could have every police vehicle in the state with a dash cam in it. Like, as if the government, the state government doesn't have a hundred grand lying around. That's chump change. They'd blow a hundred yeah. grand in five seconds flat if they were given the opportunity. It is such a basic thing. And the other argument they've run is, well, they've already got the, the body cams. Well, I mean, a body cam's not much use if you want to get footage of someone going a hundred kilometres an hour through a 50 zone on the street, right? Because often what they they come into trouble is they go off to court, someone's elected to be prosecuted in court, and then the cops are asked for the evidence, and they're like, well, we don't 
actually have mm. the physical evidence mm. because there's no way to film it, right? So there's your opportunity to film it. Oh, we couldn't possibly do I, I just don't get how there is any argument to not have a dash cam in a police car. The, the only thing this does is it answers the question, why are so many police resigning? Resignations are up 55% in the South Australian Police Force in the last 12 months, which is why they're going to, you know, the UK, New Zealand and Ireland to try to find people who want to work as a police officer. I'm not sure how successful that will be when they tell applicants that uh, once you get a job in the South Australian Police, you will need to go down to JB Hi-Fi and buy yourself a dash cam so that you can uh, feel safe and protected.